Have you ever walked through the Walmart kitchen aisle and thought to yourself as you looked around, wow, I wish that I could design beautiful kitchenware like the Pioneer Woman or maybe some colorful things like Fiesta Ware? Or maybe you've got a kitchen that you haven't been able to find things to exactly match the color scheme that you've got. Well, I've got a solution for you and it's fun, frugal, and fast. It's under $10 and under 10 minutes. And that solution is simply paint. Let me show you how I customize my own pot holders in my favorite colors to match my kitchen theme. Hi, I'm Amy. This is Cody. I'm going to do this really quick before I have to go pick up my kids. And I'm really excited about it because I've been waiting since before Christmas to get some pot holders that I really liked. My other ones are getting pretty shabby, torn and stained, and I just couldn't clean them anymore. So I asked for some teal pot holders for Christmas and what I got, mint and terry cloth. I don't know if you've ever used terry cloth, but it keeps all the food goo in it and it's just gross. So even though I really appreciated the attempt by my husband, I said, can I return these please? Because I saw how much he paid for them and I said, I think I can do better than that. Amazon let me keep them for some reason, but what I found for half the price is this kitchen set, five pieces from Walmart for only $5. Now, if you want to customize your own pot holders with me, you can even get a set of two pot holders for 88 cents at Walmart. The colors I saw were tan and gray and I think maybe red. So if that's within your color scheme, you might want to check that out too if you're not interested in the towels like I was. This is pretty close to the color I want, but I want to customize it with some really cool designs. About a year ago, I customized my kitchen carpet. I'll show you a picture where I used spray paint to do a geometric design in my favorite colors because I couldn't find what I was looking for in the stores. And I just decided, hey, I've got this hand carpet that's the right size, why not customize it? And I've loved that. So I'm gonna make these match my decor as well. This would be a great idea for a gift set if you've been to grandma's house and her stuff's looking a little bit shabby too. You could use stencils. Today I'm just gonna use washi tape and I'll show you. And let's get started. Okay, I'm ready to go with my paint in the colors that I want. Another thing you will need in addition to acrylic paint, if you're doing this along with me, is textile medium. And what it does is bind together with the paint on your fabric much better so that when you wash it, it won't fade as quickly. I've got my water. You're gonna want a pretty bristly brush if you're doing stenciling or like me, taping it off. You could also use something like these, a Tulip Color Shot Instant Fabric Color. And these are the colors I want, but I'm not gonna use this because I don't wanna have to spray paint it. I'm not gonna do that inside. I don't wanna be cold outside. And I also want more control than that. So I'm going with the acrylic paint. And those are only about 50 cents a bottle, which is great. And I'm gonna get started taping off my design. My goal is to get done in 10 minutes. So here I've got my washi tape and I'm going to pick my thinnest ones. I've got quite a bit, thanks to a friend. I appreciate that, Sarah, thank you. I've got a picture for reference of the design that I want to duplicate, like I said, matching my carpet, and I'm just gonna go for it. Things don't have to be perfect. That's the charm of homemade. And then I gotta press it in so that it sticks in the little quilted areas. Some people like coloring to relax. I don't really, that kind of feels like homework to me. I like taping and painting. Uh, the Dollar Tree actually does have quite a few stencils if you're interested in that kind of thing. And those stencils tend to be the perfect size for pot holders. It helps that I had this design kind of mapped out when I did it with my carpet. But if you want to look up geometric designs with tape for painting, that would be an easy way to find something fun, similar but more simple. Hey, if you do a project like this too, or any other creative project, please go over to my Aim for a Creative Life page on Facebook and post pictures so that you can inspire others with your creativity and make the world a brighter place. Or you could freehand dab on some of your favorite colors. Okay, I'm good to go with that one. One more corner.
All right, I've got them taped off and ready to paint. Uh, I think I'll do, maybe I'll just do, I think I'll do a band. I'll do a band right here. Just go all the way around. Now I'm going to be mixing up one part of this textile medium with two parts of the acrylic paint. I'm going to start with this one because it's going to need to dry on both sides. I'm just going to do a big old blob of this. This is pretty liquidy. Start with my teal. All right, I think that's a good mixture. That'll be the back. So I said in my breast cancer awareness painting video that I don't want to be a perfectionist when it comes to art because if I don't have a lot of time to do a project and I'm worried about making mistakes, then I probably won't do it. Everybody's got 10 minutes in their day to do something fun, right? Same with reading or exercising. Just break it up into small chunks. So. As you can see, mistakes are happening, but I'm just going with it and I'm having fun, not stressing about it. So if you set your mind to it, that you're just gonna have fun no matter what, then it will be fun. All right, I think I'm done with the painting, so I'm going to just start peeling off and call it good. By the way, if you get paint somewhere you don't want it, just take some lemon oil and rub it in and it'll remove it. Did you ever have that fingernail polish when you were a kid that you would paint on and peel off? That was pretty fun and that's what this reminds me of. <laughs> it never lasted long. That was what kids had before they had fidget spinners or phones. Well, there you have it. My favorite colors on pot holders for my kitchen. Not perfect, but a lot of fun. And I'm excited about using these when they've dried. So the textile medium instructions do say to heat set. So I could either run it through the, the dryer on hot or iron it. But in any case, I can't wait to use these. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hopefully a painty thumbs up, and click subscribe below if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so that you'll know when the next video is up. Your comments always encourage me and I'd love to hear from you. All right, I'll see you next time with lots more content about intentional creative living. Have a good one. So the instructions for this do say to seat head it. Seat head it. This is Cody. Can you